Good afternoon, it is in reality, obviously. Um, depends when you watch this as to what time of day it is. So I'll just generically say hello. And um, Right, so affirmation number 50. I have reached the half century, which is pretty impressive. And I've got an itchy nose. I did notice in my last affirmation there was a little bloody nose hair that was getting a bit long there i think i've trimmed him off now but he's still a bit tickly so problems of old age people and um, you know the, the older you get the faster your bloody nose hair grows i tell you that that i don't know about ladies obviously it's probably other things that no, no, just stop it gerald um right today i've got another one of these bits of paper um and to be honest with you, it's I mean, it's got a nice picture of hummingbirds on there, which is very nice. But I don't think there's any connection with what it actually says. Um, and what it says is, I express my emotions in joyous, positive ways. Well, writer of this, I'm inclined to disagree with you because if, for example, my favourite guinea pig had just died or something, I'd be quite sad. So to say I express those emotions in joyous ways, it wouldn't be like, um, oh no, hooray, Nigel's dead, hooray, good, joyous. Um, what the hell? I don't know. What is that one about? I haven't actually got uh, uh, a, a, a guinea pig called um, Nigel. Um, she's dead. <laughs> Joyous! See? No, I don't know. I think some of these bloody affirmations are utter nonsense. And that is one of them. Um, I could affirm that I express my emotions in joyous, positive ways. But realistically, if, um, uh, if, if something bad happens. I'm not going to be joyous if Exeter City lose 2-1 at Peterborough, for example. I'm not going to be joyous. I'm going to be, well, okay, it's kind of what I expected. But, um, you know, I'm not going to be joyous. Sorry. Uh, that's an affirmation that doesn't work for me. And as for Nigel, rest in peace, mate. You was the best guinea pig I ever had. Gerald, out.